Numbers versus words, round seven. 676 versus... OMG. If I was to ask you how old do you reckon OMG is as an abbreviation, what would you reckon? I would guess as old as like texting and phones, so like 20, 30 years. Okay. It was actually first recorded in 1917 and it was recorded in a letter to Winston Churchill by a, an admiral of the fleet who was called John Arbuthnot Fisher. He was called Jackie for short. And he, he explained it and he was, he was ma basically making a sarcastic comment um, about the admiralty, admiralty. But he said, I hear that a new order of knighthood is on the tapis carpet. OMG bracket. Oh my God, shower it on the admiralty. So that is our very first reference of it. And I would just add that LOL or LOL has also been around for a very long time, not quite as long as that, but I mm. love it because the very first use of it was within um, the police in uh, North America where it meant little old lady. <laughs> there's, an, there's, a, there's a LOL gone missing on the streets, yeah. little old lady, but um, how quickly that changed. 676 is a palindromic number. Uh -huh, so yeah. in the same way, that you would use palindrome for yes. a word, be the same forwards and backwards. So we do have palindromic numbers. Um, but not only that, it is a palindromic square because it is itself a square number. So 26 squared will give you 676. Right. And the reason it's an interesting palindromic square number is it's the first one where its square root, so 26, is itself not a palindrome. So the other ones that occur are 121, mm -hmm. which is a palindrome. Uh, it's 11 squared, but 11 is itself a palindrome. Yes. So it's like you square the palindrome to get another palindrome. So this one is not. This one is not. So okay. 22 squared will give you 484. Okay, which is a palindrome. So palindrome Got squared you. is a palindrome. This is 26, not a palindrome, but when squared, gives you 676 that is a palindrome. So okay. it's the first example of that. Okay. Question I've always asked myself, and it's a linguistic one, so it's a bit unfair of me to ask you this. Why is a palindrome not a palindrome? Why is the word not a palindrome? <laughs> I, I think that's a very valid it's question. Very I would annoying. agree with you. It should be. Yes, yes, which is heterological. It doesn't fulfill itself. So which are you going to go for? Tell us what you think. Tell us which one you enjoyed. Hopefully you enjoyed both of them. And we will let you know the results of the poll very soon.